God only knows what's going to happen next. What's up, Machine Freaks? Welcome back to another 3D Machines production and Jake the Toilet Snake production. Jake, what are we working on today? A whole bunch of stuff. First, we're going to get some more light in the room. We are really going to improve Jake's shop today. Well, that's that's what is on the agenda. The thing that we're most concerned about is making more space. A plane, whatever you call this thing. This thing flies up in the sky. It's got a snowmobile engine on it, and it just flies in the sky. Jake, did you ever ride this thing? Yep. You have? Yep. Have you ever drove it? No. Nope. I think it'd be pretty cool to ride it, but for now, we're just gonna move it tighter against the wall. Probably move those bikes and stuff so we can get more room in here to work on things because as you can see there's not a lot of space 2,000 years later now I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to tell but I can tell just because I can walk a little bit more before I have to look Where I'm walking while I'm talking to you guys. We got some real space here. What do you think Jake? I think we definitely added on about two two and a half feet. I would say this is definitely gonna come in handy Jake's currently checking out his air filter So we made some room in Jake's shop. Now we're gonna go take care of some garbage and pick up some fuel. Jake forgot the gas can, so we had to come back. Yeah. Jake, we got the gas can now? Yep. Good. Oh, Jake's parents so actually bad. have a dumpster, so we're gonna go drop the garbage off in the dumpster. And um, we'll pick, you wanna stop by McDonald's? I'll buy us some McNuggets. I'm, I'm already hungry. We just had chili like an hour ago. I'm already starving. Jake already injured himself, and we aren't even, what, probably a minute in the video? Probably. Vehicle update. Jake's vehicle smells less like a dead mouse. Smelling good. And especially with this gas can back here, it's smelling quite braptastic. Here we Anybody need a helmet? I said, I know you're trying to feed the fruit flies, but... No, no, that's for the scent. The oh! Orange, the orange gives, when you peel it, these give off scent until they start to get hard. I honestly thought he forgot the stuff was in there, but then, like, a tiny little portion of me was thinking the same thing he just said. I just thought it sounded ludicrous. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but we didn't have the key, so we had to stop and get the key. We got the key. Station time. Snake in his natural environment. Hey, are you buying 93? Of course. <laughs> now don't start the gas station on fire. Okay. How many people think Jake could honestly start the gas station on fire? Jake, I'm sure as we speak, a lot of people are very, very concerned about my well-being with you out with extremely flammable liquid. This could get sketchy. I don't know how it happened, folks, but we, we survived the gas station. Now we're getting food. Holy, look at that pothole. Ooh. Holy s <laughs> <laughs> He just takes it out anyways. They got good deals? Thank you. I can't believe you hit the biggest pothole in the world. Just just to show the YouTubers. I was going nice and slow. Okay, I was about to say, like, if you hit that at probably 10 miles an hour, your wheel probably would fall the frame <laughs> off. Like, no kidding. If you have a small enough car, you come and you hit that pothole, you bottom out your subframe, I bet you. Jake, you see that? The racing flags? Yeah. They want to see how fast your vehicle really is. So to get from the first window to the second window, they time you. <laughs> so you have to like give it all this Explorer Sport Tracks got. Hope that the wheels don't fall off and just grab your food and go. And if you go fast enough, you don't have to pay for your food. Oh, I see. It's a deal. That's not what happens at all, you guys. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just curious. What are the flags for? We got the fuel for the bikes. The last time you guys saw my bike, my new bike, is when, you know, we put on some crappy, what did we put on? Crappy front brakes or crappy back brakes? I can't remember. But I do have the other set of brand new brakes. I also have a set of uh, wheel bearings. And, Jake, I didn't remember to ask you this, but do you have brake fluid? You do? What, what does this take? Dot, three. dot four. Dot you have four. dot four? 
You little rascal. I also have a rebuild kit for the the front brake. Yeah, the front brakes. So whenever I have mechanical questions, I just come to Jake and say, Jake, what's wrong with my bike? And he knows. Yeah, I even got the mechanic shirt on today. You clean your air filter again? Yeah. Fine. She got dirty from the last ride, huh? Oh, yeah. Basically, we're going to work on the KTMs and then hopefully get outside. It, it is extremely cold, but uh, we, we want to rip, so we'll rip. Here are my new back brakes. There's an ugly rotor. Didn't we throw your, your old pads on here? Like, there's nothing left there. I only did that because Jake wanted to ride and I didn't want to disappoint him, so we rode. And I just tried not to use them. There was a couple times when I had to use them because, you know, you got to slow down. I did run into a tree like the first probably half a mile. I did. Right through a pine tree. Hey, that's cleaning up pretty good. Wow. So these brakes are really easy to replace. All you have to do is remove these, these two pins. And then this bigger pin slides right out. Throw your new ones in. She's ready to rock. I have two dirt bike stands that two of you guys sent out. One of them is holding up my Honda right now. And then the other one I use as a desk chair when I do my intros and outros. And we should have grabbed that so I could put my KTM up. But instead we're going to have to use this thing and hopefully it doesn't collapse. It looks like it's already started to. Jake, what's your confidence level in this pretzel <laughs> container? <laughs> Not high. <laughs> when you can buy a couple pretzels and a couple two by fours. Solid. The wheel bearing back here is shot. So before we even put these new brakes on, we're better off just replacing the wheel bearings. Oh, Dude, you Here Lloyd, this helps. So basically we pull this wheel off, get to our wheel bearings, punch them out, punch new ones back in. Is it coming? Do you guys like the shot? I clean up the wheel where the wheel bearings are going to go. And what we had to work with was a carb cleaner can without a top, so I actually had to take a small screwdriver and push the top in order to spray it. Had some paper towels to clean off the excess. And Jake's, well he's using some of your guys' Loctite that you sent. Who's, whose Loctite are you using? Both. Both, both. So that's Jason C and who's the other one? Chris B. And Chris B. Jake wants to thank, thank them, Jake. Thank you very much, I'm using the the red on my kickstand. So it's coming in handy. Oh, very handy. When, when we don't use your guys' stuff when we can, it's not because we don't want to use it. It's because we forget that we have it or we just forget about picking that up because, you know, to make these videos. Jake, how much stuff, how much stuff did I do before I came up here, like, video-wise, before we could even begin the day? Quite a bit. And, like, we grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, like power banks, GoPros, my helmet. Like, it just adds up. Parts. Parts, clothes, Here. helmets. So it adds up. So when we don't use your stuff, it's not because we, we really appreciate the stuff. We will use it. <laughs> well, that hurt me. No, no, that's right out of the top, you jack wagon. Top broke, I dropped it on the ground. So instead of going out and buying a new can, you just screwed it up. Dude, I can't eyes. afford a new can. <laughs> it got right in your eyes, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this We got her a pair of this thing. Now, Jake, please, please treat her nice. Don't be I'm breaking stuff. I'm not doing stuff. that. I'm just getting this out of the way. You're doing that crap. Oh, really? I've done them before, and I had no luck. All right, well, I brought my gloves, so we're, we'll, we should be good. And I have brake fluid. Uh, the seals, we believe, are shot in here, so it just needs to be rebuilt. Because there is fluid in here, it's just not pumping. 
So we we have no front brakes, but we have brand new pads. We just got done rebuilding this master cylinder for the front brakes here. We're just bolting it back on. I do apologize for not recording it. It was just messy. It, it was just a disgusting mess under here, and we just wanted to get it done. We want to get to riding while Jake does. So we got the pipe on. As you guys saw, that thing blew up in my face, and I fixed it at school. But it's looking a hell of a lot better than it did. I'm looking forward to spring. You know, warm weather. Not have to worry about wearing snowmobile gear when you're dirt biking. Jake loves my uh, gas cap. I don't. Yours is goofy. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa! Don't be screwing my settings, man. That was dialed right in. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that was pretty awesome. I've never seen that happen before in my life. <laughs> Over the handlebars. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Bunch of deer. Well, it's weird going from a four-stroke to a two-stroke to begin with, and then you mix that with ice and snow, and you just don't really know how that rear wheel's acting. Oh. Can back brake, man. I'm not comfortable with the bike yet. I can't really feel if it's a neutral or not. I don't really know how to work the back brake. It's weird. Like, I, I feel like I'm putting down a lot of pressure, and for some reason the back tire doesn't stop. Thank <laughs> you. 